All right, so here we go. Let us open up a new file in Adam. Page 77. Number 10. Write a program to de determine the length of a ladder required to reach a given height when leaned against a house. The height and angle of a ladder are given as inputs. To compute length, use length equals height over sine angle. And so this is formula one. Formula two, radians equals pi over 180 times degrees. And this is going to be, let's call it ladder dot pi. And uh, this program calculates the length of a ladder with user inputs height and angle of a ladder. All right. So, how do we make this function? So let's do let's do dig to rad degrees to radians. So then that's going to be x. So pi. Turn radians. Now let's do another another function. We're going to make this um, length. ladder length. So we use eight. So H and angle. So those are our keywords so we can use them. Height and angle. Since they're in the uh, what we'll call them So let's do let's 
length equals h divided by sine times angle. And this angle must be in radians. So we're actually going to call, and that's going to be the angle. Return length. So where could we get tripped up? Well, let's see. Let's make sure that sine is uh, in Python. And is it part of the math library? It's going to be math.sign from what it looks like. Yeah, math.sign. So let's. think it's a function. I think that this is how we do it. Pretty sure. This could be our thing, but I'm pretty sure it's a function. You just put it in parentheses. I don't think it's times. Okay, so let's call the height a float. So then say please enter ladder height float. Because I could put 82.7 degrees. Please enter degrees. Degree angle measurement. The ladder leaning against. And then we'll call ladder length. And we'll print it. And it's going to be height angle. Okay. So let's see how this works. Let's see if it works. So, hold on. Run it. Ladder height three point four. Let's do forty five point nine degrees. That's definitely wrong. Okay, um, degree times right here. It's going to be degrees times pi divided by 180. Let's try it again. 
Let's do the same one, 3.4, 45 degrees. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So we answered our height. Now we're gonna put as a lot of you know math teacher would say, and I'm sure computer science teachers would say as well, that it's all about the units, right? You can't just put numbers without putting units. So so we'll do it in feet. And then print the ladder length Let's save that right again four there it is so ladder length in feet And then obviously putting in comments and whatnot would be very helpful. Um, but yeah, there there it is. I, I like I like to separate them into two separate functions, even though they're really really short, um, because then it's really clear for the reader um, or for whoever comes across you know this program. But you know there are probably a hundred other ways to do this program and. Um, that's what you know. I've learned about you know, coding and and um, code and whatnot, and um, it's just the fact that there are a lot of ways to to skin a cat. I mean, just because it's applied, there's so many more ways than, than math. You know, um, although math has a lot of routes, you know, to get to the answer. Uh, because this is sort of applied math and logic and syntax and you know um there's just a lot because it's so applied there's there are going to be a lot a lot of um a lot of ways to do this we could use the main function just called the main function you know so anyways uh but yeah hopefully this is helpful number 10 page 77 and uh 3.7 uh programming exercises in the zell python programming book second edition thank you very much